Hello everybody, welcome to the new episode of CI Stories and here I'm standing in the Forêt de Montmorency. This is a teaching university forest in from University Laval in Quebec and uh, here we are going to discuss one of the topics that we have been dealing on a workshop with the students last week. So as you can see here it's nice and sunny weather and you can clearly see, you can see the sky, you can see the trees, you can see me, you can see how I cast a shadow on the ground, how the trees are cast shadow on the ground. So there's very clear contrast that you can see very well. Now imagine that you would be fog and drifting snow and everything. So do you have an idea what happens then? Well, the special thing in the polar regions is that then everything can suddenly turn white. Then you don't see anymore if there's light above you, light below you. The sun is coming through the clouds, scattering the incoming radiation. The light is reflecting off the snow, so you cannot differentiate anymore between sky and ground. And that means that you can lose your orientation completely. That is something that people who experience it call whiteout or flat light. So this can be a really dangerous scenario because if uh, you come into a whiteout and you don't find your way home anymore that is a pretty dangerous scenario. The other thing is if you are in an aircraft, for example in a helicopter and you don't have a proper reference to the horizon anymore this can be very very dangerous and uh, can lead to, to the extreme accidents. So well, what can we do against it? Well first of all basic rule of every arctic person is if there's whiteout don't go on trips don't go outside because then you don't get into the risk of having a whiteout when you're outside there well the best thing is actually to stop and wait until the visibility improves again so that you don't accidentally fall in a hole or run into a crack into the ice or anything else so what we have been dealing on on this workshop recently is to think about Okay, can we build a sensor that is detecting this? On the one hand, whiteout is very obvious when you're outside. But when you are not on the site, and let's say you're at an automatic weather station, it would be valuable to know if there's a whiteout on the automatic weather station or whether or not. So if there's whiteout on the automatic weather station, and this is just a few hours away from, from a settlement, uh, wind on the main wind direction that could mean that this whiteout can easily come within a few hours to the settlement and impede traffic and human transportation there so it would be very valuable to construct a sensor so we have been discussing these things on a workshop where students were supposed to learn about how to design sensors and here you can see some of the students putting together some electronics parts how to address these problems. So the main idea behind the sensor is to detect whether something is casting a shadow and how diffuse, how isotropic the light field is. So there's various uh, options, either you look at the sky or the ground and look at the radiation coming from different directions or the other option is you put a reference target and you check whether it casts a shadow. So the students have developed a few sensor prototypes or concepts and potentially in the future one of those will be incorporated in the Canadian Arctic to detect whiteout. So I hope you learned a little bit about what whiteout is, when it occurs and how we can help to address this problem for the people working and living in the Arctic and with that have a nice day and greetings from a really nice sunny day out in Quebec.